Thank you for choosing Chitin Echo One. Now we are going to give you an operation training. To get started with the Chitin Echo One, press the power button located in the upper left hand side. Hold it down until you hear it begin. When system is ready, firstly, we are going to establish pensions information. Use the pension key to start a new pension record. Edit the current patient data, patient ID, patient name. You can input any other information you want. I'm just going to enter text. When we are ready, we click OK to save it. Now, to start the exam, we are going to select this probe icon. This is the main exam. Two probes are available. Each probe has several presets. We are going to choose abdomen preset. Click on abdomen or whichever exam you are going to do. Now, we are in mode B. In this mode, we usually adjust the gain depths, focus, position to change the image in a more suitable status. Twist this button to adjust the overall gain. While slide the different segments of TGC to change the gain of different depths. Rotate this button to adjust the depths. Press it to switch to focus position adjustment. Up top, we have our image optimization controls. Here, we have our frequency, dynamic range, THI, eye image, space compound. Press these buttons to get a different value. We have some secondary image optimization controls by pushing down this menu button such as focus number, persistency, density, and so on. And we have our utility and advanced menu down below. After you click advanced, you can see zoom curve, MB, biopsy, and center line. Biopsy will give me the biopsy guide. For B-mode chroma, click utility, click post-processing. We have 40 kinds of chromas. When we are done, press the exit button back, and we will be back to where we began. What's more, one key to optimize the image is available. Press AIO. With just one key, the quality of the image can be in a suitable status. And also, we have the full screen display mode. Press the game button to enlarge the image to full screen. Press again to go back. And this is mode M. When we use mode M to scan the image, you can adjust speed, M2D map. Besides, there are eight types in M chroma, which certainly satisfies your needs. What is worth mentioning is that we have 2B mode and 4B mode. For example, 2B mode with dual screen. Click for the first and get one active. Push it again and the next will become active. Back and forth allows you to switch between those. Push on B mode key to go back to the single B mode. Same works for the chord screen. After getting a high quality image, we need to do some measurements. We have fast measurement and a calculation package measurement for your choice. Let's take distance measurement for example. Press this button, you will see line segments on the interface. Press update to change active wave point. Move the trackball to confirm the position and press enter to confirm. If you want to do professional measurement, 
Please hit the CAC. We have our CAC menu. Here, it shows abdomen. It has all the calculations here for abdomen. Press change to change the CAC menu. We do have the OB, GYN, cardiac URO, small parts, pediatrics, vascular. What is worth mentioning is that we can adjust the font size and the position for the result. If necessary, we need to do some annotations. Hit the annotation button to enter into annotation mode. We can just start typing liver. You can backspace to delete. Move the trackball to position it and click enter. If we want to move that comment, we will scroll about it. Click enter and we can move that around. We can also add our own quick comments. Here, we click edit and it will allow me to add six custom comments that would come down right here for quick use. You would enter it here, click down. So if you'd want to add that, we'd use this input. I want to select text one, push down for input, and it automatically goes up on the screen. We can change the font size, or we can reset to the original. After the image is ready, what we need to do is save images. Press one key to save the image or the scene. We can save the image in real time. For the scene, you have to save in frozen status. If you want to recall, just need hit cursor button and move the cursor to the interested image or scene and click enter. Now, let's generate a report. This little document icon right here takes us to the report page. Here, we show the full report and the measurements that I took. We can see the measurement results here. We would simply type in the box for diagnostic and the description. And this shows a graph or something like an OB report. You can also add images to the report by clicking on them. And they will show up in that report there. Now I have images added to my report. Press the print key to print the report in different format. We can both spot video printer and PC printer. As the image has been saved in the machine, we have several ways to export them to the USB disk. First, insert the USB disk. Press the archive key, select archive, then you can choose send or backup the images. Press setup. Now we can set system as you wish. In general interface, we can set hospital and the department. Set the date, time, and time zone. Also, we can choose the language without restarting the machine. In measurement, we can choose the unit of distance, area, volume, and so on. Meanwhile, we can set the color of font and two major options. Due to your habit, we can add measurement or adjust the rank of different region by clicking up and down. Then, we come to comment, body mark, exam mode. We can define them according to our custom. Finally, we can update both software and hardware in system information. You provide the SN of your machine to us. We make the latest software and hardware. That's all. 
Thank you.